Welcome back, everybody. This is Red Haley here, and we're playing more One Piece Treasure Cruise. Today, we got the data download in game for the new Merge Celebration TM banner, right? So, this is a very similar banner to the new Rumble banner that just came out, where it's the Merge Celebration. It's just including everything that we haven't already received that Japan has on these specific fronts, such as. You know, Rumble, this one being the treasure map one. We're also going to have a, a Kazuna one and a support one, which is just throwing all the characters that we don't already have in there. Um, as you can see, we do actually have a new legend appearing because this is the first treasure map that we are receiving where both Global and Japan are going to be having the same treasure map. So this legend, Bon Clay, which was, if you remember, uh, voted for a while back, quite a while back, to be a legend in the game at one point is finally here as a legend and he's actually really good so we'll be going over what he does in the video but this video this video is going to go over all of the characters the steps on the banner the rate boosts all that stuff everything that you need to know to make a good decision on whether you should pull or not um this is i will say right off the bat knowing what the steps look like because we got that information a little while back um it is pretty good it's a pretty good banner. If you don't pull on treasure map banners, this is maybe the treasure map banner you should look at, right? But um, obviously, if you don't like treasure map and you don't plan to go hard on treasure map, you could skip this. Um, anyways, the treasure map itself starts on the 19th of January at news o'clock, as it usually does. Um, but part one starts on the 14th. At news o'clock 15th on part two and 16th on part three um every part has a different set of characters on it as you know but the major things that you need to be looking out for are what characters are on the banner this specific artwork up in front specifying that it's because we got these steps here <laughs> and uh as you can see first step 30 gems but then we have three steps in a row recommended character so look at the banner <laughs> and uh specifically each type banner here so the first banner here has bon they all have bon clay on it by the way um but the two new treasure map recruits in caesar and vonkov are on this luchi anel uh karasu and uh morley are over there on the top right and then koala and croc which are two new debuting treasure map legends on the global side on the jp side they already had those characters so this is similar to that merge banner that we got with doflamingo and katakuri and all that but we're getting koala and croc on this one as well so it's actually three new legends on this banner it's actually really really good but um that's part one part two has crocodile and robin jimbe up there on the top left and then all of the Onigashima raiding party straw hats on the top right. And then part three has Koala, Nami, Usopp, and then these Onigashima um, other characters like uh, Kanjiro and Denjiro and so forth. But as you can see, Caesar and Vonkov and Bonclair are on all of the parts. So that's really good because those are going to be the higher booster characters on the treasure map. Uh, back to the steps though. After the fourth step, you get a legend which is on the fifth step i don't really recommend going past that uh if you don't really want to pull too hard on this sugo fest but saying that this is a really good treasure map sugo fest so if you already pull on treasure map sugo fest this is a pretty good one to actually go kind of deep on uh specifically because of the first four steps which don't change throughout any of the parts they are always the same part, the same steps on every single part. So if you get something that you really want on one part, let's, such as let's say you wait for part two and you pull for Robin Jimbe, maybe you get them and you're like, well, no, well maybe I'll go on the part three, which gives you more opportunities to pull characters that you want, right? Uh, but those first four steps are fantastic. The fifth step is decent as well but it's not as good seeing as this is an actually a 7.5 percent legend rate so it's a little bit more than usual 
Uh, sixth step here is a Sugo Fest or a Ray Boost character. Uh, then you get a guaranteed new character out of the three. So it's either Caesar, Vonkov, or Bon Clay. A really good step, by the way. Um, you do have to go to seven for that, but if you don't get any of those characters along the way here, then that's a really good step, right? Uh, eighth is a Sugo Fest or a Ray Boost. Then you get another one of those. Then you get another new character out of those three. Then another rate boost step, then a legend, rate boost step, rate boost step, another new character. And that kind of just repeats. There's no more recommended step after those two, three, and four steps, right? Um, and then you go all the way to 25 and get Bon Clay. Don't suggest you do that, by the way. They are very good, but, you know, if you pull on treasure map banners, you're, he's going to more than likely be on them for the foreseeable future, right? So those are the steps. Uh, let's go over the event info just a little bit here. As I said earlier, 7.5% for a legend. That's pretty good, honestly. Uh, normally, when we get Treasure Map Sugo Fest that have debuting legends on them, we get a little boost in the legend rate. But anytime you see a boost in the legend rate, regardless of what banner it is, it means there's more legends in the pool to be pulled. That's how they compensate. So there's 15 legends on each part for this. Just so that you know. Um, this is actually really important information here. So all the new characters. Uh, all listed right there. Uh, appear in this treasure map. But only Zoro, Nami, Sanji, and Brook will be on part 2. So you can't pull them on part 1 or part 3. And then the Kinemon, Dendro, and Atsuru. Will only be on part 3. Right? So these other characters, as you can see on the top right of my screen over there, like the Luchi, the Anel, um, those characters are going to be on all of the parts, right? As far as I'm concerned, we can't really see, uh, go into like the rates and everything like that. But those characters we have been confirmed will be on all the treasure map to go fest going forward. So those, the Luchi and the Nell and so forth, those characters, um, the Morlay and everything, they will be on every treasure map banner going forward. So it's actually not that beneficial to pull on part one, in my opinion. Originally, when I saw the legend list come out, which we'll go actually go over that right now. Uh, the legend list, I was a little confused because I didn't see that it stated you know, Koala and Croc on more than just part one. But that's actually not the case. Koala and Croc and Bon Clay, all three of them are on part one, two, and three. They're on all three of the parts. It's just when you look at the banner artwork for those recommended steps specifically, you have to like kind of pick and choose who you really want because as you can see on part three, Croc's not there, right? But Koala is. And then the opposite's true for part two. Part one has both of them on it. But all three parts have them on it, right? So if you're only going to maybe do the first couple steps for those recommended steps, maybe look at part one if you really want the, the like one of the three new legends and getting one of them, right? However, you're also taking into account that all those characters on the top right of that banner are on all the treasure map banners going forward so it's not like they're as exclusive as the units that are up on the top right for parts two and three so that's something definitely to take into account uh i was originally going to be pulling on part one before i knew that uh croc and koala were on all of the parts which i just completely missed that when i was looking over the information earlier uh when the legend list came out but anyway, let's go through the rest of the legends on each part here. So part one has Katakuri, Doflamingo. These are the, the super class characters, by the way. So that's actually really good. You get uh, Derma 66 on here. You get Law, which that looks like Psy uh, Law. Uh, you get Luffy. That looks like it could be the strength super type Luffy. Sanji Judge, uh, V1 Katakuri. Aokiji, uh, Nico Robin, Cat Viper, and Sabo. 
Um, another one thing that's really important to men uh, mention, which I just kind of passed over, is that Treasure Map Sanji is only available on part one. So he's included in this list of legends right here. He just is up here because these are Treasure Map exclusive legends up here. So that's something to definitely uh, keep in mind is that he is on part one. So part two has Sabo. Oh, uh, that I'm pretty sure is Dex Sabo. He, they always put him on the top of the list for some reason. Robin Jimbe, White Beaver Shanks, Bonnie, that's uh, V3, uh, Blackbeard, Luffy Zoro, Dogstorm Cat Viper, Bardo Cavendish, White Beard Marco, uh, V2 Rayleigh, uh, I think that's V1 Law, and then V1 Dracul Mihawk. So, um, honestly, there's a bunch of good characters on each part so far if you're missing all of the treasure map characters uh you should probably be pulling on part one because uh sanji's on there but if you don't have robin jimbe or you know wiper over shanks uh those are really really strong characters to be pulling on part two there um let's go to part three so nami usopp ulti page one v2 marco i'm pretty sure that's v3 katakuri um Soba Mask, uh, V2 Big Mom, Luffy Law, Capone, uh, that's V1 Capone, uh, Brooke, Nami, I'm pretty sure that's V1 Nami, uh, Barto and Shanks. So, yeah, all of the, like, last bit of characters that they list on each part are obviously super old characters that nobody really wants anymore. But, um, part three having, you know, ulti page one's really good. Uh, but then it's just kind of, you know, Nami Usopp's fine. But um, they're not like a super top tier character. V2 Marco is all right. Uh, V3 Katakuri still kind of use. Um, Double Mask is good. But then just everything after that, it's not really, you know, that great. I'd say part three is easily the weakest. Um, especially due to the fact that Koala is the one out of rocking koala on part three uh, on the artwork here for the recommended steps i think croc is far superior to koala croc is also a super class character for cerebral and he's very good so i personally am pulling on part two because uh a chance that three new legends for me just on the recommended steps so if I get a legend ticket on the recommended steps, I'm getting one of those. It'll be new for me. So uh, I will be happy regardless of what happens. You know, um, that's also to be said on part one. But I think I'd rather have Robin Jimbe over Koala at this point. And Robin Jimbe over both of those characters on the top left there. But um, anyway, let's keep going over the info information. Is there anything extra that we need to specify? If you pull uh, Bon Clay, Crocodile, or Koala, they get max level, special level, and they get unlocked powers. That's really, really nice. Uh, the new Caesar, Vankov, Lucci. So basically all the new characters also receive them at max level, max special level, and they get four powers unlocked. That's honestly really really good there's so many new characters that you're just it's just nice saving material sometimes right um anything extra here that we need to specify uh i don't really see anything specific oh the rare recruits i guess we can go over the rare recruits so parts one two and three ivankov caesar clown rayleigh gabon shanks buggy Zelda mask shinobu mononosuke Cody jones uh, that one strength, I think he's strength Caesar Clown from the merge banner. Basically, a lot of those merge characters and who's who are on all of those parts. Uh, and then Boa Hancock uh, and Carrot and Karina, for some reason, are listed here as four star characters. I guess it's because they are, um, you can pull them four stars, and those, those other ones, as they've been doing recently, can only be pulled at five stars. So that's something, I guess. Um, part one have specific characters so that Inaru, Luchi, Morlay, and Karasu are on part one, right? Part two has Inaru, uh, Luchi, so Inaru and Luchi are on part um, two as well, um, as well as Brook, Nami, Sanji, and Zoro. So that means that 
Kirisu and Morlay. I guess those were the treasure map rare recruits from the Koala batch. That actually makes sense. Um, because Koala is a Halloween themed legend. So, okay. Um, all right. And then part three has Utsuru, Dendro, Kinemon, Morlay, and Kirisu. Okay, so they kind of split them up there. All right. Well, um, that's pretty good. Uh, that leads me to believe that only Inaru and Luchi will be on banners going forward, the treasure map banners. Um, and not Morlay and Kirisu. So I don't know if that's 100% confirmed, but that's something to definitely keep in mind is I know at least those two on the top will be on banners going forward. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the video here. We going over the full structure of the Sugo Fest. What do I think personally is the best part? Obviously, it's subjective. It's depending on who you want more, what characters you're missing. But I do think part three is the weakest in terms of all the legends that are on the part. And then part one and part two, probably about the same. Maybe part one a little bit over part two in terms of just overall the legends that are on it. But again, you got to kind of look at the first couple steps here being as they're going to be recommended steps and that all dependent. That's all dependent on what is currently on the artwork right in front of you when you're pulling. Right. So on part three, you know, you see all the characters here. If you're interested in these characters specifically on the top left of the banner or the top right of the banner, that's what you need to be looking at because you know, Caesar, Caesar, Vonkov, and Bonclay are on every part. They're on all of the front page of the banners. So specifically look on those characters on either side in the back and then make a decision there. I think that's going to be the best way for you to decide which part you want to pull on. Not what characters are on each part necessarily, but who are on these artworks because that's really what you're going to probably end up getting like the units you really are looking for from those. Of course, you can get other characters along the way and different ones that aren't necessarily on the artwork. But as I said, with the first couple steps, first like two, three and four steps, having the recommended characters, these are the characters you're going to be getting on the plus one. So look at that. I'm personally going to be pulling on part two. And then, you know, we'll see how those pulls do. And maybe I'll do pulls on a different part. Because there's other characters that are on separate parts individually that I would like to get. Um, and definitely check out my other video. We did a video going over every single unit. It'll be up here. Um, check that out. And I go over every unit on there so you can check. Make sure you know which characters you want to go for. But uh, anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Like it if you could. That would be great. Uh, subscribe to get notified when I put out more videos or uh, anything else on my channel. And check out the description down below, which it's going to have my Twitter and my Twitch uh, links on there. And follow me on over there. And I will see you then. Peace out.